This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. So the treachery book that I, I mentioned a little bit earlier is not out yet, and 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 all these monsters are going to be featured in 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 that. Um, this here is the Generate Rune Cities, and um, it's going to give you uh, a chance to customize and and use beast folk and um, um, um help you take these monsters that you have that's going to be in a upcoming supplement and run them through these rune cities and 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 deal with them of course um very interesting book i think it adds another layer to uh four against darkness and i really think you should go check this out uh i've been downloading this stuff like crazy and i just started looking through all the stuff i have for against darkness because i'm trying to get it all together uh in in one area instead of all over the place on a bookshelf i have and i'm realizing i have a lot more than i thought and it just goes to show you how great these systems are uh, that 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 there are just people just making so many wonderful wonderful stories and this just adds another layer to what is already a fantastic game so uh go check it out i don't think you'll be disappointed until next time it's your old pal so Rob. here's the dungeon atlas and this is really really great because it it cuts some of the time out for you uh and, and and helps you along especially if you're just playing through the base game um they're ready to use maps and how you use this is there's going to be some shorter maps some longer maps and there'll be some suggestions and what it does is it helps uh, for instance, every time you step into an area or a room, uh, as you can see, the doors are all laid out here. You can just use this map and just kind of make a copy of it if you want. And then kind of just, uh, you know, say, hey, we're going to start here. And then every time we go through a door, that's when you're going to go to the regular rules and and roll. But on the other hand, they also give you some things that to kind of try to help you out a little bit if you don't want to think too much about it, to kind of just try to to help you along and, and maybe give you a little bit of background with this map if you don't want to take it even to that extent. And each each room, each volume, like this one is a short one. You know, you start here, then here, and, and your idea is to just go through. They try to put a bit of a theme there for you in case you don't want to invent your own theme but this book is just laid out with tons and tons of fantastic and beautiful maps where you can kind of just do whatever you want to do and and you can create the rooms however you want to create them uh, really just giving you a nice flow to everything and I, I really think that this is a great aid and and just gives you i mean there there are just tons and tons and tons and tons of maps and how you use them is up to you and just giving you another tool in your toolbox i really suggest this this is a fantastic uh a little supplement that they have for four against darkness let's go up top and get my final thoughts so one of the nice things about the adventures in Four Against Darkness is a lot of them already come with the maps already preordained and, and ready to go. But sometimes maybe you don't feel like running through a whole adventure and so forth and so on. And you just want to play a dungeon map um, and and just play Four Against Darkness at its you know, you know most simplest form. And uh, I, I just downloaded and printed out... Um, Dungeon Atlas, um, and boy, oh boy, wait till you see what we have for you. Let's go check it out down there.